still haven't figured out what you're doing to celebrate Valentine's Day yet. There's still time to turn things around for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dramatic, right? Yes. Oh, yes, our next guest has you covered on a meal possibly here. That's right. He was a two-time <laughs> contestant and judge on the Top Chef series, but today he's here to make sure you have an easy, delicious dinner recipe to whip up for your loved one. So please welcome the founder of Food Crush Hospitality and chef at Cantonese Food Mecca, Goose Feather. We have Chef Dale Talday. Chef, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey. hey, guys. How are you? And today you're making soba noodles with brown butter soy and seared tuna. Yes, mm. yes. For, first of all, if you haven't made your plans yet, this is a delicious and romantic meal and shame on you. Oh. <laughs> so first of all, I'll put that out there. Uh, shame on you guys. But, you know, it, I love this quick and easy meal. You know, when you're at home, especially nowadays, it's like we've cooked enough. Um, but, you know, something quick and easy. You're going to splurge a little bit on this tuna, but Mm. You know, it's 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 a it's a nice romantic thing to do. You say splurge on the tuna. What, what kind of tuna you got? So we, you know, on? you have to get a very, like almost sushi quality tuna here. Okay. So you're gonna get like wow. a you know uh, uh, ahi or a yellowfin tuna. We're gonna sear. We're gonna season it, a little salt and pepper and a lot, like a little bit. You know, this this fish is very steaky in quality. So it's almost like cooking a, a piece of beef. So season it uh, with a lot of uh, salt and pepper. Yum. So we're gonna get this in a pan really quickly to kind of just uh, sear both sides. And I like mine like rare, right. um, but you know, if you li like it a little bit more, cook it uh, to kind of to your liking. And how long do you usually sear it for? Like two minutes really, on each side? Um, I, I would even do like 45 seconds each oh, wow. side. Oh, wow. Really okay. quick, because you want to get it, um, I like keeping mine nice and rare. So, you know, the color on the outside, instead of like a steak getting nice and crusty, all you want to do is kind of get a little browning on, on each side. Oh, yeah. Where right. do we go from here? So from here, you know, we've browned some of our tuna right now, and we're gonna add just a touch of butter to the pan. Just to, a touch, not a yeah. lot. Just a touch. I, I mean, love a touch. I love that. It, it, you know, we're splurging, right? We're, it's just, <laughs> this is the time. Listen, if you haven't made plans and you gotta get it going, Shame on you. Shame on you, but you gotta get flavor quickly. You were building gotcha, flavor quickly. Gotcha. So a little bit of butter, some shallots mm, or shallots. Oh. A little bit of ga a little bit of ga garlic. All my favorite things right there. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna brown this. And really a, an important part of this recipe is to brown the butter. Because it's gonna take this from just kind of like simple butter sauce to something that's deep and has a lot of uh, flavor to it. So we let this go a little while longer. We're gonna add a little bit of sugar to this to help caramelize that and get that brown. A touch of black pepper. A little bit of lemon, lemon juice, juice, which is, you know, mm. fish and lemon, beautiful combination, Yum. and a touch of soy sauce. Oh, wow. And yeah. once it gets to That's that good. point, you're kind of done, right? It's wow. a quick and easy sauce. That is, and you just pour it over the tuna? Yeah, or? we're going to do, you know, we have a couple oh. slices, of, a couple pieces of beautiful tuna here. We're going to slice it Gorgeous. nice and rare. Um, but yeah, you just pour this over the entire bowl. And, um, and these are soba noodles. How mm -hmm. are, can you explain? I actually had to ask, like, soba noodles versus <laughs> pasta. What is that? Sure, so soba noodles are actually buckwheat, um, and pure soba noodles are, um, um, they don't have any flour in it. Oh. So they're keto, they're gluten-free, uh, very healthy for you, tons of protein, and it's actually a seed that is ground. Wow. Can't so, believe yeah. I didn't know about these yeah. soba noodles. Wow. Yeah, they are. They're very healthy noodle for you. Wow. Um, and we'll pour the sauce right over the top. Um, but yeah, they're a healthy noodle for you, um, and you know they cook really quickly, and they have a beautiful texture to them. We're gonna garnish this simply with a little bit of scallion Scallions. and some radish. So and, pretty. Yeah, it's kind of. You're right. That really doesn't take much time at all, and it looks beautiful and tastes amazing. Yeah, it's you know it's. Hey, you, you got to splurge a little, yeah. and this is the time, right? Mm. Well, thank you. You want to scold the folks who are late one more time before we go? Shame. Yes, there it is. Shame. 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 Oh. Shame. Shame. It is good to have you here. Good to have you back in Thanks, studio guys. with us as well. And for today's recipe, you could check out our GMA3 Facebook page. Chef, good to have you as always. Cheers, guys. Thanks. 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 Happy Valentine's Day. You too. You too. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.